historically, neurodegenerative diseases, many of them are associated with disorders of sleep. Um, Alzheimer's disease, Lewy body dementia, and, and other neurodegenerative diseases. The finding that we made has more to do not with sleep disorders that occur in neurodegenerative disease, but the possibility that disorders of sleep may actually be an instigating factor in leading to Alzheimer's disease. We used mice that were genetically engineered um, to express a human mutation uh, for Alzheimer's. Um, so it's essentially a mouse model for Alzheimer's disease. Um, these mice do form um, amyloid plaques, much like Alzheimer's patients. We were interested in this connection between sleep disturbances and neurodegenerative diseases. As a background in Alzheimer's disease, one of the instigating, main instigating factors is the uh, buildup in the brain of a protein called the amyloid beta peptide. And so we've been studying the metabolism of that protein and why it builds up in the brain. So in order to do that, we've developed a technique over the last few years where we can measure the level of that protein or peptide in the brain. We found that this peptide fluctuates with the sleep-wake cycle. And so when we found that, we wanted to understand more about how the sleep-wake cycle regulates that protein and how disorders of sleep might lead to potentially abnormalities of amyloid as well as Alzheimer's disease. Orexin is a molecule that's been identified recently as being important in uh, regulating wakefulness behavior and uh, absence of, the, of orexin has been shown to be important in a disease called narcolepsy. We wanted to know if orexin was modulating this increase in amyloid plaques that we saw with sleep restriction. So what we did was um, identified a drug uh, in collaboration with a company um, that chronically blocks orexin receptor signaling in the brain. Uh, it's called Almorexant, um, and we chronically administered this drug for eight weeks to these mice that we have that are uh, a mouse model for Alzheimer's. And the mice that were given this drug for eight weeks um, showed a significantly decreased plaque accumulation in the brain compared to their control mice. Um, in some brain regions, it was even as much as 80%. Of a decrease. The findings suggest that orexin, when infused in the brain, can increase the amyloid beta peptide and that if we block its effects in the normal brain, you can prevent the cycling of the amyloid beta peptide that normally occurs. We think that um, this protein might be a potential future target to treat Alzheimer's disease. And so while we have preliminary evidence for that in this paper, I think exploring further that possibility with other inhibitors of its effects might be a way to go for the future. I think it's a very preliminary data. Uh, you know, this is a mouse model, but it is exciting and it does point to potentially new avenue with which to try to design therapeutics, new therapeutics for Alzheimer's disease, both at the pharmacological level as well as behaviorally. If we can somehow consolidate sleep and make sleep of a higher quality for patients, perhaps in early or even later stages of Alzheimer's disease, there may be um, benefits uh, you know, down the road in terms of plaque deposition and cognition.